hey there it's kim with the book brought and look it's andre gerard and he is the author of fathers it's an anthology a literary anthology how are you andre very well indeed well i i just sat with you for almost half an hour and uh um, we, we got into some very deep conversations about fathers, relationships, uh, death, children. Uh, what else did we talk about, Ashray? Friendship. <laughs> Friendship. One of the things. Yeah, and the blessings of what fathers are and how it's changed. So, can you tell me a little bit about the anthology? Sure. It's it's an anthology of personal essays and poems, and it, all the essays and all the poems are by famous literary figures, and they're all writing about their own fathers. So you've got Winston Churchill, in fact he's he's 72 years old, he's been Prime Minister, he will be Prime Minister again, and yet he's still obsessing about his father, and he, his father's ghost comes back to him and cross-examines him about what's happened in the 50 years since his death. Wow. And uh, Churchill fills him in, but is careful not to tell him about his own role because Churchill's father had been very uh, severe and very critical of Churchill. And obviously this was Churchill's way of getting even, even if he was only getting even with a ghost. Wow, wow, wow. So who else is in the anthology? Well, uh, Canadian writers, you've got Alice Munro, Margaret Atwood, you've got uh, Michael Ondaatje, you've also got Michael Ignatius, who has a very uh, moving piece in, wow. in there. Uh, you've got uh, Anne Carson, you've got Patrick Lane, you've got a wonderful essay by Miriam Paves. Wow. Uh, uh, Leonard Cohen, uh, uh, one of Leonard Cohen's songs is in there. Uh, so there's, there's a whole... And these are all sanctioned by the authors. You've got all the okays on that. We talked about that as well. Yes, uh, it was an expensive process. I, <laughs> I had to, and a time-consuming one because I, I had to secure world uh, publication rights. I only got print rights because they, the print rights cost me close to forty thousand dollars. Holy jeepers! Yeah, yeah, and and electronic rights would have cost me another fifty percent on top of that. So oh wow! We can have a whole other conversation about this. <laughs> yes, yeah. And as a self-published writer, that know, is lots. I couldn't uh, justify that expense for a book which might not uh, catch on. Right. You know? But well, it's a, it's a brilliant book, actually, with the fathers, and I think we were just talking about how fathers have changed and how they're morphing and how they're they're working on. So we, we talk about our fathers in the past and what our fathers are today, and um, it's an interesting way that we can actually talk about them and honor them, our past, our present, and our futures, right? So very much so. Yeah, yeah and I mean, one of the things that prompted me to do this book, it, there were several. One is that I tutor. Uh, Teenagers whose mm -hmm. fathers are often on the other side of the world, astronaut kids, uh, yeah. we call them. The other thing that prompted me, and I, I collected these essays and poems to help them, uh, to, to show them that other other young people had issues with their uh, fathers. Mm -hmm. In fact, older people still had issues with mm -hmm. their fathers. And uh, the other thing that pushed me to to compile this book was my own relationship with my children. In particular, my daughter, with whom I'd had a, a very difficult relationship uh, at the time that I started this book. Mm -hmm. And maybe it was my way of saying, look, you know, I'm really not so bad. You, <laughs> you could have had somebody like, like Churchill's father. Yeah. Or, or, ah, perspective. Or uh, Raymond Carver's father or uh, right. whoever. You know, so it, it, it does provide perspective, both mm -hmm. for the children and the father. And, as a father to reading these essays, uh, I think I learned a lot about myself, about the kind of father I was, and I, I think it's changed me as a father too, to, Brilliant. to, to see how other people uh, went through the process of being a father and, and the constant evolution that's required to be a father. Well, that's amazing. I just thinking about that, I have a very dear... Uh, my cousin's husband, we call him second husband, it's a whole other thing, um, but he's going to be a father um, in a couple of months and I think this would be a brilliant book for him um, as a gift for his fatherhood, new fatherhood, so, um, and actually have an understanding of where he is and where he's going to go, so it's beautiful. What's your website there, Mr. Andre? The website is www.patrimoirepress.com. Okay. Patrimoire is uh, 
a word I've coined, I uh, meaning memoir of the father. Right. P a t r e m o i r. So it's it's patrimoirepress.com. Brilliant. Good. And it's you. a word that I think uh, will catch on. It's, mm -hmm. it's, there is so much father uh, literature. So many not not just biographies uh, by children about their fathers, but memoirs of the child about the father. Right. And of mothers too, matrimoires, but I, I think often fathers are, for many children, uh, fathers are harder to get a sense of, even today, that, you know, fathers are more involved in the family, I think, on, as a general yeah. rule. But there still seem to be more essays and books about fathers coming out right. than about mothers. Yeah, I think we're encouraged to connect on that, at that level now. Um, and we want our men to actually, I want to know about where their heart base is and what their thoughts are. And um, yeah, I think it's a good thing. It's a great thing. I, I absolutely, I'm so excited to read the book. Just going to scan down again. Uh, Fathers uh, is a literary anthology. And Andre Girard is our, oh, there he is. And I love that back picture. It's so beautiful. Um, so that's Andre. Um, I really thank you for doing this book and bringing this to us. I, I think for Father's Day or for any day that we need to celebrate uh, a father who's bringing in a birth or somebody who's passing or I think it's a gift that we need to share and talk about and actually connect with our, our loved ones. So thank you Andre. Thank you so much Kim. Bye, this is really Kim for the Book Rods. Bye. Bye.